Hi, my name is Melissa and I'm the team coordinator at the New Lenox Public Library and today I'm going to show you how to make a puffy paint no slip socks. I have an example of what it might look like when you're finished. Uh, yours will probably look much better than mine because you're probably more crafty than me, but I kind of figured out how to do this and I am excited to share what I learned with you. For this project, you may not have everything at home already. Uh, you might have to run out to the store, but these are real simple things and real easy to find. So for the supplies, you'll need, you don't need this, this is optional, but some thicker paper, this is poster paper, or you can use cardboard if you have it around the house. You're probably wondering why there's spatulas here. I'm gonna tell you why in a second. You can have spatulas if you want. These two things are optional. Obviously you need your socks. I have some kids socks here, and um, this is one of my socks. And you're gonna need, if you do decide to use the poster board uh, for your, um, for the pattern papered piece here, um, which I'll show you how to make real quick, you'll need a pencil and obviously your puffy paint. You can use any color you want of puffy paint. You can design it however you want. These I bought at Walmart. So you can find them in the um, at craft stores, um, the craft areas in Walmart, um, or the, the, the art and supplies area in any store, really. Um, the one thing you want to make sure is that it says that it is, the 3D paint is helpful to have, obviously, and you want to make sure that you can apply it to fabric, um, which almost all puffy paint, I think you can. So we'll get started. So I'm gonna do my sock, um, which is obviously a little bit bigger than, um, but this is my daughter's sock. If you have a little kid and you want to do that sock, this is you're gonna use the spatula for this. And basically this is just to keep the surface of the bottom flat. So you put it like this and it flattens that, um, the, sur the walking surface so that you can apply the paint. Okay, so you can do, the, again, that's optional. For this, this is also optional, but what I'm gonna do is open my sock and I'm gonna trace it. And when you trace it, it's okay if it's not perfect. Basically what you're doing is you're creating one of these guys to stick inside of the sock so that it's flat. So we'll do that real quick. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be this kind of in the shape of the sock. So you can use it as an insert to keep it flat. And my scissors, which I don't have my scissors. So I'm gonna have you hold on just one second while I go grab them. So you can start tracing and I will cut this out. Yes, that's one of the supplies you need, scissors, which I totally forgot about. As you can see, mine is not perfect at all. It's just, it, I'm using it to keep a flat shape so my sock maintains its flat shape and the paint goes on nicely. So there's that. I'll put it inside of the sock. And we're having some work done in our backyard right now, so. If you hear that, it's a drill you hear in the background, just ignore it. <laughs> okay, so it fits like just like what you get when you buy socks at the store. Well, sometimes they, they're in, they have these little inserts. All right, so now make sure that um, it's flat, as flat as you can get it. And now you're going to take the puffy paint sock, um, or the puffy paint paint, and this is the funnest part, the most fun part. So I'm going to start out with, I'm going to start out with a blue. And read your directions first. You know, make sure that your um, your surface is covered, um, or you don't really care about your surface if it's not covered, because um, you might get some paint on it. Um, the the directions on this puffy paint say to shake it really well. And so we're gonna do that and then open it. And I'm gonna start out and I'm gonna put some dots on the sock. And you're gonna apply the puffy paint to. Most of this flat area of the sock, you don't need it on the heel so much. You can if you want. And the puffy paint is elevated, which is okay. It's going to dry. Okay. 
So these are dots. You can do whatever you want. If you're super creative, you can do hearts, you can do snowflakes. And then I will do, this is a really pretty one, a silver glitter. So I'm gonna shake this one, get it ready to go. Make sure the top is on when you're shaking it. And I will do some zigzags. Give it a squeeze and then do whatever you want with it. These socks are fun. Um, we're going to get a trampoline. So my daughter is going to use hers on the trampoline. Um, you can also make these to donate to hospitals or hospices. Uh, hospital patients need no slip socks often to, to keep them safe. Um, so you can use them for a lot of different things. Um, if you have little kids and they're learning to walk and your floor is slippery, you might make these for them or have them help you. Um, to keep them safe on the floor so they're not falling. What do you think? One more. Like up here. Okay, so you have a very pretty sock. Now you're not, it, it, your, your work is kind of done for four to five hours. Now what you want to do is wait for it to dry, like I said, four to five hours, and then you can wash it. Um, and it will go, I mean, it'll still be, the paint will still be a little bit elevated. Once you walk on it, it'll kind of um, go down a bit. And then I think washing it will probably push the paint down a little bit as well. Um, so again, you want to wait four to five hours. And what they say on this puffy paint, they say to um, machine wash it inside out after 72 hours. And that'll probably, I'll let you see it focusing so um, you probably want to not wash it right away I would say wait at least four to five hours then you can um, then you can maybe start wearing them if you want to wash them I don't think you have to but that's another option for you as well so these are kind of cute this one's probably my best one I've made a lot of them practicing for this so so yes yeah, so I'm so glad you joined me and I hope you'll make these and have fun and I hope everybody's doing well staying inside